What is up everyone, this is Mo Tutorials here and today I'm going to show you how to fix the no capture devices found on your Elgato HD60 or HD60S. So I'm going to show you essentially how to fix it. So right now I had this error as well like a, f a couple of hours ago actually and I was able to resolve it. I'm going to show you what to do for this. So right now I my thing is connected my elgato hd 60s as you can see is connected it just has no signal because the console i just turned it off but you will be seeing over here it's saying hey welcome or whatever connect your capture device now and over here you'll see that error in the title no capture device is found so there's a very quick way to fix this and a lot of folks are usually surprised on how to fix it so you want to go to the search bar here and you want to write device manager once you do that, you're going to see this pop up. Once you have it over here, you're going to see in other devices, the Elgato in a similar format as this basically failed. And you're going to right click into it. I believe now my Elgato should be in. Let's, I'll show you where it is now. So yeah, it's, I believe it's here and probably here. Probably this one. Uh, probably one of these. Uh, anyways. But you can see it's installed here successfully because it's us it's mostly here failed as part of the other devices because it's not connected pro properly or appropriately. It will say uh, something like game capture card, some something similar to this, or it'll say Elgato, right? It'll most likely say this, but it depends on which Elgato you're using. So what you want to do when you see it here, you want to right click into it and you want to click uninstall driver and you want to press the uninstall button and you're going to see it uninstall. And same with the, over here, if you see sound video and game controllers, same thing. You want to right click here, you want to click uninstall and you want to say uninstall over here as well. You want to uninstall it from both spots. Once you do that, you want to just restart your t uh, computer to come back and you're going to see you'll be successfully have be able to then uh, utilize Elgato. You, you'll see it. It'll say connected. It'll all work. You'll be good to go. What happens is the driver or whatever at the point of installation failed. So you're going to have to essentially download it and not download it. The computer is going to reinstall it because the Elgato itself has the drivers connected to Windows. So you can easily just do that way. You could theoretically download the drivers from online and have them uh, put in. But this is the safer, more preferred route is what I just mentioned to you. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you guys still have any comments, questions, or so just let me know in the comment section below. I'm more than happy you guys <coughs> help you guys out. If you guys don't like this video, please smash that like button. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with that notification bell. On that, more tutorials out. Peace.